What's up guys? We made it out to Lucas Oil Raceway for the ultimate call out challenge with Wyatt's truck here. Sure Dude, is. we gotta talk about this new tent your pops just got you. This thing is sick. Yep. Look at this he, thing. Uh, up got Wyatt's style. dad back over there. Yeah, dude. Just out of the blue, he's like, hey, I got this canopy if you want it. It's like, all right. Dude, Didn't quite the upgrade here. Look at that. 10 by 30 tent over the race truck. Yeah, it's huge, man. But it is nice. Get us in the shade. Or if it rains, you know, protect us. So pretty solid. We've even got numb nuts in town. Yeah, look who else we got over here, guys. <laughs> long time no see. Got our boy Hayden. Dude, it's been a while, huh? A long time. Been a Too couple, long, like over two years. Couple years. Since I was down in Florida, the first, first time he's ever seen the truck run in person. So sad. Crazy. Yeah, what a crappy friend you are. Horrible friend. <laughs> it was horrible. Such shows a bad up to friend. harass us. Doesn't help work on the truck, and then yeah. just shows up here to just waste my money and do oh, nothing all weekend. Don't worry, I've been trying to help through the through the phone, freaking thousands of miles away, and he doesn't listen to me at all. So <laughs> hopefully, we can maybe try to help. Sometimes cool. it's not help, but. Well, Hayden's been doing a lot of no prep in the RX-7, and he's a big no prep guy now, so his mind's always on suspension and stuff. So, so obviously yeah. those correlate to this truck very well. Yeah, so obviously <laughs> it the bounce correlates bounce. perfectly, yeah. but Hayden's trying to apply some knowledge here and yep. help us dial the suspension in a little bit on the truck. Yeah, we're got a GoPro the back right there. Direction. We're gonna watch the rear end. Yeah, it'll be some cool footage for you guys to yep. watch. Yeah, got a GoPro on the rear end. It's super weird too because this truck is all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. The front messes up what the four-link normally just does by itself. So like it's all kind of different. But I mean, a little bit of knowledge I know and a little bit of knowledge he knows, we might be able to make something decent <laughs> happen. When you combine the knowledge, knowledge, it's knowledge. still below-level knowledge. But. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, we are here day one, Ultimate Call It Challenge. We're getting ready to go make our first hit. We definitely have made some changes to this thing that we think will improve the leave. See if we can get the 60 foot down. Our goal for this weekend is like mid 1260s if we got it in the truck. We'll see. That's definitely the goal though. And then the uh, goal is to go faster. Fast, yeah. Run so, a PB hopefully. Right. We're trying to. Yeah, uh, why needs to work on that tree? Oh, That's here we go. And then we're also trying to run like a 520, 510 by the end of the weekend. So let's go. We'll see if this thing holds together for it. But that is the plan as of now. So. Looking forward to it, man. It's gonna be a great weekend. Beautiful weather, way better than last yeah, year. Yeah, last year was so hot. hot as hell, but it is looking real nice out. Yep. Got all these people out here with their diesel race trucks and rigs. We'll go around and show some stuff. Definitely a cool event, but they got the race truck out, got her on the slicks, went over everything. Suspension changes have been made. Tunes are loaded and ready to go. Yep. Just to kind of get a shakedown and yep. got a go from there. Check it one time and then make our hit. See what we can do. So. Yes, sir. And today is just qualifying, so how many qualifiers do you get? We get two qualifiers today, one qualifier tomorrow, and then we head into eliminations. Also, before we came out, Wyatt added this other little tie-down tab right here to the hood because we noticed she was a little floppy right there. Yep, it uh, ended up buckling the hood a little bit right here when it did that uh, probably six-inch flop, so decided to put that in there, keep the hood in place because we plan on going fast this weekend. How's the track feeling, Hayden? I feel real sticky from my part of the Dude, we ain't used to this sticky stuff. Mr. No Prep guy over here. It feels... Oh, she feels sticky. I mean, it's not too bad. It's pretty sticky. It's gonna be some uh, slick waters 9,000, I'll tell you that. I definitely wouldn't go too low on this tire pressure. Well, see how this first pass goes. I'm excited. Get the first time I get to watch him make a rip in his truck in the past three years. I haven't got to yeah. see it once in person. Yeah, it's cool he made it down. All right, guys, got the truck in line. Hayden's checking the tires. Same tune-up as it was on Bradenton with a little bit more RPM on the leave. Yeah, a couple of small changes, but yeah, mainly just more on the leave and uh, see if it'll take it. A couple suspension changes and uh, see what it does. So if all goes well here, we should realistically see about what it did at Bradenton, possibly better. Yeah, I mean, it's got enough power in it if it leaves well. And there's a chance like it- High five four, low five five. Yeah, there's a chance it could be a PB right here. Good chance of it, so we'll see. It's not got any more power out the back, but if we can improve that short track, obviously we'll be better overall, so. Nice. See what she can do, man. I'm yes, excited. sir. So, give her hell. What are we running, 16 in the front? Yeah. 
try a little less, see how sticky it is. See how many wrinkles we get. Yep. Hopefully oh, not too many wrinkles. Yeah, and I'll remember the GoPro on the rear end. Oh yeah, the four link shot, we can't forget that. Yep. All right guys, Wise getting ready to make his first round of qualifying. He's up against our buddy Jesse, one of the only other older generation square body trucks. Most of the trucks in this class are like newer body style. Pretty cool to see these two line up. Last year, Wyatt took him out first round in eliminations. Right now, this is just qualifying, but you can't do your boy Jesse dirty again. He's probably, he's probably the only truck in this class with a radio. He's blasting his music right now. Big streak truck guy. Got the nitrous purging down there. Fastest four wheel drive Duramax. Find out what it is. I didn't say anything. I'm like, is that a four? It, that guy, it, like, that showed can't a be right. four. It showed a four, but yeah. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate because maybe this. Yeah, the timing system must be off. Unless there was smoke in the beam. Sometimes if yeah. smoke from the other lane goes in the beams, it'll hold the lights on. So he's 60 foot before the lights start. Oh, really? But you can watch the video to see if there's smoke underneath the truck. Oh. Damn, dude, you just ran a world record in this 420 thing. 420 at 125. We're flying. <laughs> the, yeah, tree messed up, which sucks. One of the guys came up to me and said, if smoke's covering the beams, it can delay it to do that. So oh, he yeah. said, watch the video back. Well, I wasn't my truck. It goes up. Yeah, I was it like, I don't, I don't think there would be any smoke down there, yeah. but Jesse's truck did well, have his he, pipe down low. Yeah, he forgot his bullhorn to turn it up, so maybe that's what caused yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, these diesel guys know a thing or two, so. Yeah. I should have let him, I should have let him, he wanted to go in first so he'd get it spooled up and get the smoke out of there. I probably should have just gave him more time. Yeah. But it is what it is. We'll at least have good engine data, so yeah, at least look at that. It looked like it left pretty good. At yeah, least it felt like it needed a lot more, to be honest. Yeah. It felt like it was lazy as hell, but. I tried even turning it up on the line to give it more, but it just didn't. Yeah, I was trying to pump it up. Because it just didn't feel like a lot, so. We'll look at the lot. Yeah. I was trying to turn it up and let it build some more boost. But. So the smoke messed up your side as well? Yeah, I gotta go back there and get my turn up. I thought I could be gentle enough, but it didn't work. Oh yeah, it's getting bouncy. See bouncy the tires? Sure. I didn't see, see the, the tires, tires, but... So if you go back and you watch your it, phone, it's yeah. Just watch yeah, I'll show you on my phone. Pretty good there. Two step check. Hopefully we'll leave a little bit better for the next one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot better. So we'll see what it does. Hopefully it leaves. We ran into some issues on the last pass where it kind of bugged the ECU out for a second and launch control didn't turn off or it like kind of flickered on off then off. Or off. off yeah, you can kind of hear it hiccup yeah. right on the leaves. Yeah, and that's what it was. It just like flickered launch control again and it cut all the fuel out of it and turned nitrous off and then it all came right back on like that. So we think we got that figured out. Might have just been some setting we kind of overlooked and it's just like a one in a million chance you hit it. So hopefully this next pass we should be good. 
All right, Wyatt, well, we need to see a 532 right here. Yep, that is the goal. Hopefully it goes A to B, and uh, hopefully a low five. We'll see what it does, man. We got a lot on the lead this one. And if it takes it, it should be pretty rowdy. Wish me luck and we'll give her hell. All right, guys, got Wyatt coming up for his second qualifier. Had a couple issues on that first one. Had a couple hiccups on the launch there, but we should have her pretty sorted out. Gave her a two-step check, a little more RPM. We're really needing to see like a 550 or better. Ideally, a PB right now would be real nice. And it should definitely be capable of it right here. So, see what she does. Come on, Wyatt. New PB. Yeah. Had a little bit of a bounce, but hey, I don't know. I wonder if it was fuel related or what it was. But we'll have to look at it. He got a new PB though. Yeah, that's awesome. Moving in the right direction. Yeah. Let's go, baby. 541 and 130. That was a solid little hit, baby. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, dude. 541 and 130 with a pretty whack 60 foot. Went a 133 to the 60 foot, which we've done better, but it definitely had a little wheel speed on that one. But man, once it kicked in, we were riding. 540 to 130, I'll take it, hell yeah. Not too bad. Not bad, 541. New PB. Yep. Did I oil the track? No. Okay. I saw they shut it down and nobody went after me. I was like, okay. No, it was the guy right after you. Oh, we're good then. He didn't oil it, he just shut down. Okay. Not bad, dude. 541 at 130. Fastest truck's ever been. That's sick. The mile an hour is the same, just the short track was a little better. Yeah, and you've even the gone 60, better to the 60. Yeah, the 60 so. was even slow. It so. looked like it bounced a little bit. The yeah. rear unloaded. Okay. So Kate, Kate's though. looking at the footage in slow mo. Okay. But. Sick, dude. 541. That's trucking. Hell yeah. That's yes, sick. Sir. Good okay, job. Baby. Nice. Get that short track, that 60 foot dial back in, and boy, we'll be contending. Yes, yeah, sir. 541 in the eighth. Not bad. Almost cracked into the truck. 30s. Yeah, it was close. That's a full tenth faster than your previous PB. Yep. I think we can crack a 30 tomorrow, man, if we get that 60 foot kind of dial. We'll take a look at all the data, see what the slow mo shows on the 60 foot, and, and just go from there. You still have a ton more power to throw at it. Yeah. And that felt so much better, at least. Like, at least that time when it spun the tires. It didn't just hop and get all unsettled. Like it might have spun and unloaded, but the old tires, man, this thing would have been in here freaking. <laughs> yeah, the big shit. old balloony so, tires just bouncing around. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of wheel speed. I felt it spun off the hit, but it was it hooked up pretty quick, so I just let it eat. And it didn't rattle in here, so that was yep. good. Pretty and sick, man. Moved in the right direction for sure. Yep. That is pretty solid 540, man. Now you just gotta work on that guy. Well, the, go look at the footage. The three bulbs never dropped. Did they not? No. Mm. I never saw them. That's why it was just like instant green. I was like, what the fuck? Huh. Unless it was just so bright, I didn't see them, but I did not see the yellows come on. Maybe the footage will tell me I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I didn't <laughs> see the yellows come on. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that. Not bad. Yeah. Take it. Those are the only two qualifiers for the day. Yep, we get one more tomorrow and then on to eliminations. So. And then on to racing high four second race trucks. Pretty much. <laughs> so we only need to find another half a second in the morning and we'll be good. All right guys, so why did great today. Ran a PB in the race truck over at UCC. And right now we are at an event called War in the Woods. It is a no prep event. I'm here with my boy Hayden. He convinced me to come out. Why I wanted to stay back and hang out with all the diesel guys and uh, go over the truck. Since his last qualifier for the day was over, we decided to come out here because this is a big event that Hayden wanted to come see. Yep. And uh, this is really cool. This is my first time ever at a no prep event. There's a ton of people out here that seem to recognize me. And I feel like we these might- are, These are your people. Dude, this is sick. This, this is, is like straight people. grassroots racing. The track out here, 
has no barriers, no divider in the middle. You got people lined up all the way down. It's eighth mile racing. All the no prep guys are eighth mile, no prep, or uh, no time, I mean. And this is awesome. I mean, people are just up here on the hill watching. Look at all the people up at the starting Feed, line. Feeding you burgers, drinks, yeah, all kinds of behind stuff. us. Hooking us up with some food back there, so shout out to them. Yeah, but this is really cool. Hayden's trying to convince me to get into some no prep racing. Having to meet all my no prep buddies that do YouTube stuff as well, so they can all just have an awesome time doing we no prep stuff. We already have enough projects, but it, this is cool. You can always do more. Leave a comment down below if you want to see us try to do some no prep stuff. 100%. I'd maybe have to like start with a Honda, because that's how we do things, but then eventually I'd probably end up getting something like rear wheel drive. You bring a Honda out here doing no prep stuff, they're gonna love it. All these people out here are gonna be like, what the hell? And then it's gonna go fast. They'll be like, oh shit. Yeah, I don't know. This is sick though. So the small tire cars are about to go up right now. Some gnarly stuff. I mean, they get squirrely up here. They're, they're sending it guys. Cause like, once you get out there, there's like no prep. And if you don't got a good traction control or the car's not hooked up, these guys are sending it. This is really cool. It's only about an hour away from the Lucas Oil Motor Speedway. So we're just hanging out the rest of the night, watching some no prep racing go down. I've been to a bunch of no prep races and this, Honestly, is the biggest no prep race of the year, 100. percent Yeah, the two this is cool. The two Warner Woods. Hey, dude. That's enough yes. tickets for four dude, beers. Dude, they're looking out for you. Hayden already has a beer from uh, all of them. From some guys over there. This I guy's giving you some more. I oh, I forgot about the tea in the back. What's this guy? Got four from this guy, bro. Oh, Thank you. This is the people's race right here. This dude, is he just took you up with five beers. beers. We're gonna have some problems later tonight. 100. <laughs> percent I guess I'm driving home. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. Got the first round of small tire. Hayden's boy Jimmy's up there against a Fox body. Let's go, Jimmy! <laughs> Damn! Bro, this place is wild. That Fox body was getting it. Oh, yeah. Getting it. Dude, we are in it now, dude. What'd you get us into, Hayden? <laughs> <laughs> what is going Let's on? Let's go, baby. Come <laughs> here. packed in here, boy. That guy's shorter than you. <laughs> hey, back up. Place to be. Place to be. Yeah. All right, guys, it is race day. They are starting to line up. We got to go ahead and get this girl up there with all the other trucks. Yep. So, we had a lot of rain delays and stuff yesterday, which prevented us from racing. So, to this morning, we are gutting our Q3 round. We're going right into eliminations. And this morning, we are sitting qualifier number five. We're racing qualifier number four. And it should be a decent day. We went ahead, turned the truck up a little bit made a couple of suspension changes and a couple of changes in the Bosch and we'll see if we can get this thing to go down the track. Well, she's fresh off a of PB and it's turned up from there with some changes that hopefully should go further in the right direction. So we're gonna put her up in line, but if you get taken out this round, that's gonna be it. Yep, packing this shit up, heading home. Yep. Get me out of here. <laughs> be ready on that tree and yep. give her hell. As long as the damn tree don't go instant green on me again. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid, man. All right, guys, why it's pulling up in line here. We are going up against this power stroke right here. Gnarly truck. He qualified just a little bit faster than we did with a 5.0 to why it's 5.40. Yep. So we got this thing on the hot tune. He's tuned up. Yes, yeah, sir. Nitrous bottles are on. Yep. We'll see, man. Everything's ready to go. Yes, sir. Time to put some smoke in that pipe. Hopefully she's a good clean lick. Yep, we'll give see. her hell, dude. Hell yeah. Good luck out there. Nice. That's a good looking pair of race trucks right there, boys. We are coming up to the line. See what he can do. Only goes five twos. Yep. Five two and cut a tree. That would be pretty nice right now. All right, guys. Wyatt's lining up with the power stroke. First round of elimination.
unfortunately didn't go nowhere and I should have felt a little lot quicker but I was out of the gas quite a ways but uh, it just wouldn't quit spinning well shit that's the end of our UCC guys we uh we treat him we treat him pretty good but like I said it just kicked the tires right on the hit and that's all she wrote so it's what it is we'll load her up and on to the next one Oh man, I, it, that left violent. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Keep your uh, front end big pissed off. Strapping it down. Just wait till you see the video. It hits it. The second it, hit, it hits it so hard, it just drops the whole nose right back down, and the rear comes up and just. Oh yeah. 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 Almost yeah. need to just take them off or loosen them up. You need to test it like that. You need just, to do something. Now you need to test them on the loose side. Yeah. So bound up. Because yeah. it being bound up like that is, it just yanks it back down hard, and all the weights up here. So. Like a four-wheel drive burnout. Oh, no, you yeah. had all just, four of them. Uh, just fucking. Hell, it felt violent as fuck. Yeah, it's horrible. His wheel hopping like crazy. I bet. Got a little too rowdy on that one. Yep. Well, that is what it is. Hey. Not terrible. I mean, the she's driving back into the trailer. Yeah, she didn't break. I thoroughly expected to have a broken front diff after that one, but seems good. So we live to fight another day. Sucks you didn't get that third qualifier because that would have. That would have told us that. That would have. <laughs> let us go back to where it was working right is what it is yeah so what we didn't mention is we also tightened up the front limiting straps yeah to try and keep the front end and down. it looks like that did not help it whatsoever yeah i still did a 1760 foot like that which is so <laughs> bad i'm serious i was in there and i like my, the way my pedal is i was trying to back off it and i literally had to move my leg back off the pedal so i might have to look at that <laughs> i couldn't get it to you were just on full send dude yeah i couldn't back off it quick enough well guys that's gonna wrap up our weekend here yeah the ultimate call out challenge what the heck hayden why was she so bouncy this is all your fault it wasn't my fault i thought you knew what you were doing is this strap guy's fault i blame the front straps i blame the tuner I he's tuning touch. the suspension see I what happens the front straps. <laughs> yeah on the plus side you ran a pb yep. she's not broken mm -hmm. So now instead of spending a year to fix your transmission, you can spend a year dialing it in yeah. for next time. That's the plan. We'll tear it apart when we get home. It might be some hidden gremlin. I don't know. That tire's Yeah. Thing. You might want to check a couple things. Bad. There was a couple cracks on the uh, bedsides over yeah. there. She was so, she was bouncing pretty good. Pretty rough. So we'll look over it, but she seems to be all right. So. But overall, she's in one piece, safe. drives back into the trailer. Yep. Go from there on it, man. Look, Not uh, too bad. A bummed out... 15 hour drive home but, oh, yes sir here, just for you to ruin my truck what's your problem bro <laughs> me you just hate me that much Aiden? i blame them freaking strap job boy <laughs> i swear well that's gonna do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed we'll see you later